but I think the tea ceremony ended up being one of the highlights of my entire trip. The carriage again seems pretty empty to be fair. I can basically say now that I came all the way to Osaka just to get myself a takayoki, which are these octopus balls that I'm having. Good morning and welcome to our penultimate day in Japan. We are in Kyoto at the moment in our beautiful Ryokin, which we've been staying at for the past couple of nights. We had our breakfast this morning. It was a little bit different than yesterday. We had some beef on the table, a different kind of fish, some, I think, spinach, uh, eggs, loads of different variety sesame. of yeah, sesame pudding. Uh, my cousin's here with me as well. So loads of different um, basically food items all presented in a traditional Japanese style really delicious breakfast we had at 8 a.m. Um, at the moment it's around close to 9 a.m. we're leaving in about 15 minutes or so where are we going? <laughs> we're going to a shrine first yes the, what is it? the deity something deity? Toki Daiji Sam, we should have looked it up. We should have looked it up before telling you, but we, we will figure out soon. And then after that, we're going to tea ceremony, which yes. we're very excited about. Also, a little bit nervous, the apparently. The temple is a really big one, apparently. It's like um, from the UNESCO Cultural Heritage, and it's supposed to be very big and have uh, several temples inside. Like, it's a Buddhist wow. Zen temple. And then apparently our tea ceremony is right next to that temple, yes. which should be also very good. Um, yeah, so this is the plan for the day. Hopefully afterwards, if we have some time, we're going to also get the Shinkansen train to Osaka for a bit. I hope I said Osaka right. Is it Osaka? Osaka? Anyway, <laughs> either way, we're going to hopefully spend a couple of hours there as well. See just, you know, where our legs take us there and then back to Tokyo this evening. So that's the plan. This is our beautiful Ryokin. We are going to miss it. It's been, it's been interesting. Initially, yeah. when we arrived, all of us were like, wow, we've never stayed somewhere like this before, but now we're, we're gonna we're gonna miss it mm. it's been great well we have arrived at the daito kuji temple you can see the entrance there behind me it really wasn't that far actually from where our ryokan was located as we mentioned earlier we do have a tea ceremony booked i think inside the temple somewhere or nearby at 11 a.m at the moment it's about 9 45 a.m we thought we would spend about an hour exploring the temple a little bit before the tea ceremony begins so yeah i'm looking forward to it we've been given a map of all the different temples that they have here in the gardens apparently some of them are open right now a couple of them open at 10 a.m so in about 15 minutes time we're going to try and hit as many of them as possible before our tea ceremony begins at 11. So we just came out of the Dyson Inn temple, which you can see there behind me. There was no filming or photography inside, so I couldn't take you with me, but we spent about half an hour in there. We learned a lot. It's very much a Buddhist Zen temple, so a lot of, I guess, Zen ideologies, things like that. There was loads of poems and really nice things, actually. I always love learning about new cultures and different cultures and taking bits and bobs that I like about different cultures and trying to apply it to my own life. So really enjoyed learning about that. And now we are going to make our way towards the front of the temple area, um, the gates, I was should say probably, to yeah start our tea ceremony. Yes. Thank you. Oh yeah, that is nice and cool. But I think the tea ceremony ended up being one of the highlights of my entire trip. And shout out to my mom and great aunt for, I guess, encouraging us to do it. We weren't really too fussed about it at first. But my mom was like, you should go to one. And my um, great aunt had been to Kyoto years ago and she said it was one of her favorite things that she'd done. So yeah, that was so cool. Ooh, unfortunately, again, no video. So hopefully you would have enjoyed the photos that I showed you. But that was honestly so cool. And they were amazing. The hosts there were just so welcoming, so beautiful. What did you think of the tea ceremony, cousin? It was really a really interesting and nice experience. I'm I really agree. happy we did it. Because we at weren't first, sure at no, first, we yeah. Sure, but then we decided let's do it, and I'm really glad. Same, and the tea was so lovely. We both said uh, matcha the tea, tea was really great because uh, most people I know, we know, mm -hmm. who went there, said that the tea was uh, wasn't that great. That it was like too bitter. But it was actually really nice. <laughs> for us. I really liked it. It's one of the best teas I've tried. I think. Same, so yeah. Good. It was so good. Mm. We have come back into Kyoto train station now. We're going to do a little bit of shopping around the station, get some last minute things from Kyoto, and then hop on the Shinkansen train to Osaka to so hopefully be able to explore a little bit of Osaka. Not a lot of it. We're only going to have maybe about three hours. But just to be able to see a little bit of it, we'll, we'll have you happy about.
We're on the Shinkansen train now to Osaka. Apparently it's only a 15 minute journey, so it shouldn't take too long at all. We have officially arrived in Osaka. We've literally only got an hour. I'd say maybe an hour and 10 minutes until we have to go back to the train station. We ended up getting a taxi because it was raining and it, it, it would have taken us way too long to use the public transportation. We wanted to make the most of it. Taxi took about 15 minutes from the station to Gotonburi, which is meant to be like the main shopping district of Osaka. They have some food, some restaurants. We want to just try and make the most of our one hour here. But there you go, you can see the one of the main streets there behind me. Also, there's another one there where they've got the very famous, uh, I think, sign of Glico. They call it the Glico sign. But fun fact for you, Japanese people really just don't have the L sound. So they, they call it Guriko. I was talking to the taxi driver, I was like, do you know where the Glico sign is? And he was like, oh, what do you mean? Like he didn't understand until I showed it to him. And he was like, oh, Guriko. So just a little fun fact for you there. But let's go and explore. Look how beautiful this street is. There's water that goes through it. There's a boat. There's this big thing over there, which we don't know what it is yet. And the famous sign, the Glico sign, is actually just over there. You can kind of see it. It's the big running man over there. There you go, that's him. I completely forgot that the 2025 Expo is going to be happening here in Japan, in Osaka. I was very lucky to be able to attend the Dubai One 2020 Expo, which actually happened in 2021 and early 2022, of course, because of the pandemic in 2020. It's still called uh, the Expo 2020, though. And so, yeah, 2025, should I come back to Japan? I would absolutely love to, because number one, I love Japan. Japan has been amazing. Number two, the, the Expo was such a great experience. I so enjoyed experiencing it in Dubai um, last year, and I would love to experience it again here in Japan. So let's see, fingers crossed, in a couple of years' time, I can come back here. Apparently, one thing that Osaka's famous for are these takayoki uh, octopus balls. So I'm about to go and try one. They're selling them here. They actually look delicious, guys. Look at them. I can smell them already and they seem to be making them fresh here, so let's hope they're nice. Well, I got the octopus balls. They've got some bonita flakes on them, which if you look closely, they actually move, but they're not alive, don't worry. They just tend to react to the heat of the octopus balls on the bottom. Looks to be some mayonnaise on there and maybe some cheese sauce, I'm not so sure. But I love the packaging as well, look at that. Kukuru is the name of the place. You've got an octopus little packaging and then some octopus balls in there. I went for the smallest size because my aunt and cousin aren't the biggest fans of octopus, so probably gonna have to eat them all myself, but this was the smallest they had. And this is the shop. I'm about to try these octopus balls or takoyaki or some, whatever they're called. They're extremely hot. I think they make them really hot on purpose because otherwise the bonito flakes on top of them won't move and they apparently that's part of the deal. Hot bit of peel. It's very doughy. You can't really taste the octopus too much. It's not a very strong flavor, but it's nice. And the bonito flakes don't really taste of anything. They're just there for, like I said, to make it appealing with the movement. Apparently they like moving things here in Japan. But no, it's good. Do you want some on? There you go, you can see there, inside the balls, you can find the actual octopus. Which is why the flavour of the octopus isn't too strong, because they've got so much batter around it. And with the cheese sauce and the bonito flakes as well, it's just, it just becomes a really nice texture and a nice uh, food item. I really enjoy it. I can basically say now that I came all the way to Osaka just to get myself a takayoki, which are these octopus balls that I'm having. It, it was worth it, I would say, and they're literally the food item. that, that Osaka's famous for these the takayokis. There's um, octopus ornaments and octopus figures and octopus photos everywhere around this area everyone comes here to try the octopus they've got loads of other food items that they're famous for as well but one of the number one ones that can't be right one of the top ones is the takayoki the balls that i'm currently having and they're delicious well, we made it back to osaka train station we've got our shinkansen booked for 5 18 i believe in about 25 minutes or so and it takes about three hours to go directly from here all the way to tokyo we're in green cars as well if you want to check out a full review or like my, my thoughts I guess on the Shinkansen the bullet train check out my vlog from a few days ago when we first got to go on it on the way to Kyoto but yeah we're all very tired and very happy we managed to do so many things in one day
we've been on the Shinkansen train. This is my cousin for the past two hours now. We've got another hour roughly to go until we get to Kyoto. My cousin just spotted the moon over there. Thank you very much for that. Um, my aunt realized that they even give us, well, they don't physically give us, but the, if you want some blankets, because the aircon is quite a bit, quite a lot inside, uh, con in contrast to the very hot weather outside, they do provide you with some blankets up there, which you're, you're free to take. You can't take home with you, but you're allowed to use. Look at us with our blankets. <laughs> this is something here in Japanese, we don't know what. I think this is only a green class thing though. But yeah, we've got our seats very much leaned back. We've been laughing a lot. We haven't slept a single bit. We're just singing Persian Singing Persian songs, <laughs> being a little bit quietly, of course. Um, and I thought I would show you a couple of things before. <laughs> Before we go, because your phone is oh my phone, my phone's falling. Um, we discovered a couple of new things about the seats, which are quite cool. So I'm going to show them to you now. Firstly, the leg room is pretty amazing, and you can move this about as much as you want to make it as comfortable as you want it for yourself. We just like to have them like this. This is the button that adjusts your seat, so you can pull it up, which is what I'm doing now, or pull it back. Um, and then in here actually there's a little mini table which I'm gonna bring out because it's nice to have options so you've got this mini table and this is my <laughs> cousin's hand over there she's doing some ballet with her fingers we've also got an I mean look how far I'm so far back from this this just gives you an, an understanding of how great the leg room is because uh, there you go so there's my uh, cousin's arm because to be able to reach that I have to actually really lean forward so really a lot of leg room and then the tables as well look you can put it to you there you go there you go some ballet we'll put it back and there's some information there as well it's gotten dark outside as well so what is the time probably around 7 at this point 7 p.m i think so and then i also wanted to quickly show you a couple of buttons over here that we just discovered firstly this thing here that I pressed apparently um, heats up your seat. I'm not sure if it's worked or not. Um, probably not, maybe, I don't know. But that's that. And then you also have a lamp button, so bam. And this is the lamp. You've got a reading lamp right next to your face. Yeah. And then the best of all, for somebody like me who always likes charging things, they actually have a couple of plugs and they're in a very good location as well so it's very easy to put them in I'm currently charging my phone but yeah these are the seats I'm gonna show you where my aunt was as well she's just currently gone to the bathroom anyway the next station seems to be Shin Yokohama you just would have seen it over there there's some toilets over there there's also um, somebody comes every now and again with some drinks and food items some reading items things like that that you might need so if you do want to get yourself something you can we just grabbed our things from the station as you can see the carriage again seems pretty empty to be fair so not a lot of people seem to be in green class at the moment it kind of feels weird to be standing as the train is moving because the speed of the train obviously is called the bullet train for a reason and it is the fastest train in the world i think it's meant to have double speed of what normal trains have but yeah as you can see most of the seats are empty i think there probably is maybe a couple of people in our carriage and it's quite a big carriage but the great thing is that the actual journey, and I've said it before as well when we got the train from Tokyo to Kyoto a couple of days ago, the train journey itself is very, very smooth. So really nothing to worry about there. Um, last but not least, I want to show you this as well. They tend to give you one of these, like, I guess, um, hand sanitizer uh, napkins as you first board. So we're keeping this for later because we, you never know when you're going to need them. So yeah, there you go. This has been our experience of the Shinkansen. <laughs> My cousin is in a very, very strange mood at the moment. I'm loving it. It's great. And you are not. Yeah, sure. You started it. No, you started no. it. <laughs> I got. I we boarded the train. And I was like, darling, I'm gonna so sleep. No. And she. <laughs> <st> <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what she's saying. Anyway, guys, I think we're a bit, a little bit delirious. I guess we'll see. She's, she's dead. I guess we'll see you. I will. I will see you in Tokyo, probably for dinner somewhere. I'm going mad. Help me. Help me. <laughs>
next morning, in fact, the morning of our very last full day here in Tokyo in Japan. We're leaving tomorrow morning, but I didn't finish the vlog last night. I was just too tired. We got back to Tokyo. We checked into our hotel. We'd already stayed in this hotel for one night before. It's called the Groove Hotel. It's in Shinjuku. It's a very great hotel, actually, I would say. We're on the 31st floor. We've got a phenomenal view of some areas of Shinjuku and also the rest of Tokyo as well. So that's been awesome. We even have a view of the famous Godzilla statue at the Gracery Hotel because the hotel Gracery is literally in front of this hotel and it's quite shorter than the one that we're at. We're in this big tower. I can't remember what it's called. It starts with a K, but the hotel is called the Groove Hotel. And like I said, really good hotel. I think it's a four star hotel and they've got three beds. I've been sleeping here my aunt and cousin um have their own separate beds as well but um yeah last night we went to a restaurant at the group hotel called jam 17 i think and we all tried some wagyu beef we'd had some before um i tried it at the, the food market i think on our second day in tokyo but only a little bit this time we full-on ordered like wagyu beef as our main courses it was quite expensive but it was so delicious guys it was so delicious i'm a big steak lover and the wagyu beef is just obviously having wagyu beef here in japan is just on another level it literally melts in your mouth so that was an amazing last well set penultimate meal that we had together here in tokyo and yeah this morning we don't really have much to do this morning we've done most of the things that we want to do in tokyo so i think we're just going to do the last bits and bobs i'm probably not going to vlog much actually today i'm going to take a bit of a break because i think we're just mainly doing some bits of shopping and so that's why i'm probably not going to take you it's going to be a bit boring but yeah my auntie are down for breakfast at the moment i'm going to join them in a second and i think i'll show a little bit of our last day i'm hoping to go to mcdonald's because i just really want to try japanese mcdonald's see what they have that's different here so if i do that i'll vlog a little bit of that and then tomorrow i'll try and vlog some of the journey back to vienna as well again we'll see how it is but the best thing is that i'm feeling so much better i've been feeling a little bit under the weather the past four or five days and if you remember before that i'd lost my voice so i was worried that it had turned into some kind of laryngitis or something thankfully my voice is back and also i feel much better so I guess whatever it was has passed but um thank you so much for watching this vlog we had an amazing day yesterday at the tea ceremony and obviously getting to see a bit of osaka and just generally a great day around japan so i will see you in the next video bye bye